I've got two really cool AI tools to help speed up generating content for your website. The first one is for those of you with YouTube channels, this is video to blog and it does exactly what the name implies. It turns your videos into blogs. Very simple. You see, I've got 10 blog posts available this month. I've already used a few up. You simply hit create blog. You enter the URL. So I'm going to ask it to write a blog based on a review I did recently. We can add visuals. We can embed the video and add screenshots. If you want to, you can add links. These can be the links from the description, links from a sitemap. You can also add a CTA, a call to action, and you define these by pressing this little button. And then you can, so I, I've had this uh, set up for Pixel 3, if you want to learn more, blah, 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 by the Pixel 3 and it creates that little button. I don't need a CTA for this particular one. And then more options gives you control over the length now my videos tend to be quite short concise to the point and so it doesn't recommend i use medium or long but if you are a podcaster for example and you had an hour long video then you could have a look at using these uh, long form because that's over 25 minutes you can adjust the tone of writing so for this one let's have a little look let's have happy point of view first person. You can add a primary key phrase, a table of contents if you don't already have one. Let's see what it does with the FAQs. The blog structure is a product review, but you can see we've got summary, interview, listicle, product review, news, ADA, tutorial, and you can add a format. So there's lots of options there. And then once you've selected them all, you just hit create blog. It's that, it's that easy. It's really simple. You can save this as a template so that you've got all your um, settings pre-filled out. This is going to take a while now because it's got to grab the uh, video transcript and start the AI process. So while it's doing that, let me just quickly show you. This is a really good value one, actually. Just $49 to get started, 10 posts Per month now of course it depends on how many videos you're doing but that's the only difference between the tiers you get everything included and if we go all the way up to tier five if you're a heavy user that's 200 blog posts a month i mean that goes up to a thousand dollars i guess if you were working with clients that might be an option and so you can see it's now generating a couple of videos so i've been testing this on a range of them i recently did a review of the pixel watch 3 and so this is the output so it's given us the title, it's embedded my review video, and it's converted my review into a, uh, a blog, <laughs> complete with images. Now, these images aren't quite right. A few of these weren't exactly spot on. So for example, this one doesn't really show anything. If I click on it, you get the option to adjust it to one of the other screenshots that it's taken at the time. For example, this is not a good screenshot. If we do this, we can now Roll it forwards, let's say there, screenshot that. So although it will suggest, I think it's four screenshots, you can go ahead and take your own. So this is about the battery life, which is why I've adjusted it. And then it's given us pros and cons, conclusion, the FAQs, and there's my call to action. Now, what's very nice about this platform is we can go content analyzer and it's given us a score. It's given us readability score. AI content detector, if you care about that, and you can press the humanize button and have it rewritten. It's given us the structure, how many words, paragraphs, long paragraphs, long sections, long sentences, images, links, and the key phrases. So that's a, a nice little addition. I wasn't expecting it to have a full content analysis. We then have the meta title, meta description, the slug, and the tags. So all that's generated by this platform. You can also see the promotions as well. So if you want to promote the blog, it's generated Instagram posts, Facebook posts, Twitter posts, LinkedIn, WhatsApp. It's even done an email promotion to go out to your email list. So it's a really cool uh, little platform to help you speed up the process of generating content. You can even see all the transcript that it's based on. 
And so it's done a very good job on that one. So I just need to post that over. Now, now you may have seen my review recently of VideoTap, which is this. Uh, that also creates blog posts and videos, but in comparison, I think video to blog post does a better job. This is more like a transcription almost of what I was saying. You know, it's pressing down the crown, opens up all the apps you have installed. I mean, that, that's what I said on the video. And it's okay, but I do think the overall structure and writing style of video to blogs is better. The, the blog that it's produced is more like a written review that I would then write because it's come up with headings like design and build quality, user interface and navigation. So that's a, a very cool one. Uh, I also tried it on a Pilates video. I have a Pilates channel with a friend. And here it's, again, it's done a good job getting started and it's we've got the screenshots that I can adjust, warm up exercises, squats, dynamic movements. And so again, it's gone right the way through the video. This is a longer video and I've also added some FAQs at the end. And then we've got the call to action to view workouts. Now, when you're happy with your output, you can export it. You can copy the link and share it. You can copy it via HTML or Markdown. Those are both very useful if you're using a platform that this isn't integrated with and so you can copy that and just paste it straight into your editor rather than having to do any sort of integration but it does integrate with wordpress.com wordpress websites medium blogger ghost which is new and you can share it on facebook twitter linkedin so if you press the share button it comes up with the tweet and a link to the article but the link to the article is on it's the video to blog sharing so up to you if you want to do it that way. I suppose that way you don't actually have to have a website because this acts as your website, including the call to action. Next up, I've got SEO Rocket AI. This is more of a pure blogging platform, nothing to do with videos at all. And this has some really cool ideas that I've not seen implemented elsewhere. So to start with, you're going to want to do your keyword research. You can look for related keywords, you can do cluster research or you can generate topical maps and it gives you uh, a couple of examples so if we go into real estate in new york this is a demo one that they give you so you'll be able to look at this as well it gives you all the related keywords you can see the volume the difficulty the cost and then you can track them or you can go straight into writing an article for that keyword in the cluster research again they've done a demo one email marketing and you can see the various clusters uh, for you to explore. So if you wanted to explore email newsletters, for example, we go in and we can see these are the clusters of keywords. And again, you can go ahead and generate or write the article yourself. The one I've not seen before, which I think is very cool, is this topical map. So here they've given us the example of intermittent fasting and you get all the topics listed this view is uh, good for later on when you want to start um, going through this a little bit more. What I like is this topic visualization where you can see your site at the top and then we have the overall topics and underneath it's identified pillar posts and the supporting posts. So you can see there's a lot, <laughs> a lot has been done there and it doesn't take too long to do. So all you have to do is give it a, select the type you want and give it a keyword. As you can see, I've been experimenting with a range of different keywords to test this out. And you're perhaps unsurprised to know the more specific the keyword, the better the topical map. So I tried just some animal ones because sometimes these can be really good and sometimes they're a bit all over the place. And fox in particular is one that can cause AI problems if you don't specify the animal because, of course, there's the um, fox network. And so you end up getting uh, quite a few unrelated Houston live broadcasts, but then wildlife species facts. You know, these, these are two things that wouldn't go on the same website. If you connect your website, you'll see this section at the top shows you the, your keywords in the top three, top 10 and top 50. And then the next stage of this, after you've done your research is you can write a blog. Now you can write one manually by triggering it and say, generate AI article. Well, there is the option of creating an automation. So after selecting your website, it will tell you that there's 376 articles in this topical map. I can generate on my plan, I think it's 40. Yes, yeah, so it's, it stops at 40. 
and you can select a time gap between them. So if you don't want it to roll out super fast, like one an hour, you can say every day. Now, a bit of feedback I've given them is that this down here should have a date uh, year on the end because October 12th is, is now October 1st. But if I do one an hour, this is going to be October 17th this year. If I did every day, it'd be October 12th next year. So I'm hoping they'll update that. If you don't like these, you have to first go through each of these sections and decide what you do and don't want to uh, write automatically. So you build your plan up first and then you would create your blog automation and it will then work its way through each of these to create blog articles that's then posted automatically to your website. So let's say you want to write this pillar page article and you're not going to do it via the automations. I'm going to say generate AI article. Once you do that, it is going to take some time. So you're better off setting these going and then coming back to them or doing some more research. And while it's doing that, let me just show you some of the other features. So we have the uh, writing editor, which is here. So you can see it's doing the research for declutter your mind. The content auditor will audit your site and tell you where the top pages are, what the best opportunities are, the content score, and you can go ahead and say, let's optimize. And when you click optimize the article, it will pull it into the content editor, give you the score. It will show you the keywords that are included or not included. And then you can generate titles, descriptions, you can generate email newsletter and the social media. Now I haven't set up reports yet, but this is where you can track your keyword positions and the number of keywords you get will depend on the plan. And we'll go over those in a second. And the automations is where you manage the automations for the different websites you have. So we go back to content editor. You can see it's, it's now ready for us to proceed with this particular article. This isn't automated in that it doesn't create the blog straight away. The first thing you're going to need to do is customize the type you want. So it's decided it should probably be a curated article, but we can change that if we want to. The tone neutral, let's have a look at, uh, let's say, friendly. You can have just a general audience or you can specify a target audience. Then it has automatically picked out competitors so this is really good because it said, well, this is Amazon. Let's not include that. And you can go through this. You can go through the results and select more if you want. So create an outline. So right now it's creating the outline. While it's doing that, I'm going to hop over and just show you the deal terms. Affiliate links for all these deals down below. Tier one gets you 20 credits a month, 50 keywords tracked, five automatic articles, 20 manual AI articles. And you can connect one domain, one website. And you can analyze 20 to competitors a month. Then going up, you basically get more of everything. But note, tier one and tier two don't include AI images. So really, for me, I think the sweet spot is going to be tier three. 120 credits gives you a lot to experiment with. It allows you to do a lot of topical research, come up with different topical maps, clusters, all that kind of stuff. You get 300 keywords and you get 40 articles a month, which I think it is a decent amount. It means you can drip feed those out. If you want to go all the way up to the top, you get 450 credits a month, 150 articles. And uh, yeah, that's if you want to spend that kind of money, fair play. But tier three for me seems to be the sweet spot. So I've hopped back over. It's now ready for the outline to be reviewed. So we've got a cool title. We've got the introduction. And this is the outline. If you want to adjust anything, because this is essentially uh, giving the AI some instructions. And so if we go all the way down to the bottom, call to action could be, why don't you subscribe to our newsletter? Why don't you buy this product, you know, your product? And you can add extra instructions here before you hit let's write. So it took a few minutes, but here's the finished article. So we've got the title. It's scoring 50 out of 100 according to their analysis. We've got the word count, headings, paragraphs, images. Again, keywords down the side. Now it's not generated an image here. I'm going to click change image. So the options you've got are Pixabay. You can use AI to generate if you've got that on your plan. You can add a URL or you can upload your own image. So here's the AI image that it's generated. It's uh, in square format rather than the landscape format I would prefer. I guess that's because they're using DALI rather than perhaps a better model. I'd like to see them introduce 
Flux, which I think produces much higher quality images, but I'll take what I can get. It's generated a table of contents. We've got decent length articles broken up by headings. We've got lists, which is good. I don't see any tables so far, so I don't know if it can do tables, but this is a lot of lists at the moment, but it's looking quite long. Here we go, keep going. So that's a, that's a very good length article. I'll have to have a proper read through it later. And I'm assuming if we want to say here, we can add an image. And again, it pulls up this box. So you could generate a new AI image, or let's say, uh, let's just add this one just for the sake of it. And so you can go through and edit this article within uh, the inbuilt editor without having to go elsewhere. You can then generate the title, meta description. And you can also generate social media and newsletters. So again, this, this is a cool little feature. It's generating those extra bits that you can then use. So we've got the title description, and then we've also got a newsletter that we can send out. So are you feeling overwhelmed by the constant stream of thoughts running through your mind? Do you find it difficult to focus and concentrate on the things that truly matter to you? If so, it might be time to declutter your mind. That's a pretty good one. So you can save that, you can regenerate it, you can copy it, use it wherever. That's a nice feature. And then we've got the Facebook posts, Instagram posts, and LinkedIn posts as well. So it's trying to give you everything you need. If we click share, you can share it via a link or you can publish it. You can either download it as a doc, download it as HTML, publish to WordPress or publish to Webflow. I'm gonna to have to play this a little bit more. I found quite a few little issues with this, but fair play to support. I've been on them all morning, look at all this big long chat, and they've been very responsive. They fixed a couple of issues straight away. They've already taken on board some feedback I've given them. I noted that down for future releases. And so I'm finding them very engaging. If you are looking for help with your website, whether you're starting a new website, whether you've got a website, this is looking like a very good all round tool. I really like the topical maps. It's already brought up things that I wouldn't have thought about for some of my other websites. So I need to go and investigate that further. And I'm gonna set up an automation to one of my test websites and see how well that works. Now I haven't tested the automation just yet. I wanted to get this video out quickly because there's a deal ends in six days warning on AppSumo. So if this is looking like one you want to try out, please click my affiliate link below, go through, uh, give a test and let me know what you think in the comments.